Welcome to today's fantastic tutorial. Today I'm going to show you a secret color grading technique in Adobe Photoshop. So let's get started. Before color grading anything, first let's understand the basics of color grading. Successful color grading is when you target the shadows and highlights and midtone separately and you give different color to the shadows, midtone and the highlight. Highlight and midtone can be the same but you have to give some separate color to the shadows. All right. So it is very important that you separate your image into three tones. Shadows, highlights and midtones. So that's what we are going to do. All right. So first of all, let's come over here and create a solid color adjustments layer from here. And here we will select this color, something uh, teal like color. Okay. And uh, you can choose even green as well, but I'm going to choose this color and we'll press OK. And now we'll duplicate it by pressing Control J or Command J on our keyboard and we'll just double click on this color layer and it will again open up the solid color picker option and this time we'll take this orange color something like this and we'll press ok and we'll create one more copy of it by pressing ctrl j or command j once again and we'll just double click it and this time we'll take something this color okay which is more saturated orange and we'll press OK and we are going to quickly rename them shadows and this one going to be high lights okay and this one going to be the midtone okay and now let's turn about two off and take this one and just double click on this blank area and it is going to open the layer style options here we have to come over here on the blending options from here and you can see over here we have to make sure that uh, this color this teal color should only apply to the shadows so we need to move these sliders towards the shadows okay and if you want this color to be applied only on shadows then only on the highlights sorry then you need to drag the sliders towards the highlights on this lighter side okay so what we are going to do we are clicking and dragging it towards the shadow and as you can see the preview it is at the moment not looking good and it has so many color bending options so in order to fix that we'll press alt and it will going to split this slider and we'll drag one slider back to the highlights all right and now we have this slider and we'll drag it down okay so you can drag it towards the shadows and you can decide how much effect of this color you want on your image. So I'm going to probably go for this one and I will press OK. And but at the moment, as you can see, it has lots of color. So what we are going to do, we'll lower down its opacity. So we'll lower down its opacity, something like this. OK, you can choose even higher if you want, but I'm not going to do that. I'll be uh, fine with this one 61 percent and now similarly we'll turn on the highlights and again with the same method we'll just double click on this blank uh, this blank area and this time we want this orange color to affect only on the shadows so again what we'll do we'll press alt or option and we'll drag the sliders towards the shadows and we'll drag it until we are happy with the result so we'll go for this one and from here as well we can we can control the opacity so from this slider we'll drag it down okay so something like this or even lower if you want okay and we'll press ok and as you can see now we have different result and let's try to change its layer blending mode to the color and this gives us a different result and let's try soft light yes soft light is looking good or overlay you can try overlay as well but i think soft light is looking good with with this we have minimum light okay and we have minimum impact and now similarly we'll go for the midtone 
and again we'll just double click it and this time we'll split both these sliders and we'll bring them to the mid tone so we'll press alt and drag it over here something in the middle and again we'll do this for it as well and it is going to be something like this and we'll press ok and change its layer blend mode to color ok and we'll lower down its opacity something like this and we'll press ctrl i or command i or to invert it and we'll take the brush from here make sure it is the soft as brush with zero hardness and let's opacity be 40 percent and this color is white and that way we are going to paint some warmer tone on the face all right because we don't want it to be everywhere we want this only on the skin tones okay so we'll paint it over here on the hands as well all right and let's select both these layers and press ctrl g or command g and rename them as color grading okay and you can see by turning it on and off our our color grading is done and if you want to enhance it even further let's come over here on the adjustment and select brightness and contrast and let's increase the contrast a little bit because at the moment it is our faded look which we have created but if you want if you don't want the faded look you can increase the contrast from the sliders and it is going to give you different and you can even play with the brightness or contrast all right so you can play with both these two sliders and now we have this color grading okay and this was our before and this is after and let me show you full screen this is before uh, this is after and this was before okay and before we go and before I sign off I would like to show you one more technique all right and that technique is that we can create all of these layers as a preset okay and so that next time you don't have to create all these layers you will just cl click once and it will going to give you the same results so for doing that what we need to do we need to come over here on the file and select export and select export color lookup tables and select over here and you can rename it whatever you want like color grading okay and and you can write your copyright over here and press ok and it is going to ask you where you want to save it and for this purpose let me share save it on the documents and press and I can rename it over here as well a color grading or secret color grading and press save alright and that way it is going to save the preset for us and let me now turn off all these layers and let me come over here on the adjustment panel and here we'll select this color lookup adjustment and here we'll click on the stop sliders and select load 3d LUT okay and we'll browse our preset which is in the documents and this is here dot q file is what it supports photoshop supports dot q c u b e q file and whereas and this one has created uh, different three different other options like 3dl dot csp and dot icc okay so these are different uh, different extension which it has created some works in photoshop some works in premiere pro and some works in uh, even after effects all right so i'm going to just select this one and press load and you can see the moment i have selected it and it has loaded this secret all right this look and with this just one click and with just one adjustment we can easily color grade our image with this secret color grading technique in photoshop thank you so much i hope you have learned something new from this tutorial and if you like today's tutorial don't forget to hit the like button and please do subscribe to my channel 
for more videos and subscribing is absolutely free all you have to do you have to just click the red button below this video and you will be subscribed to this channel and that way you will not miss any new video from me and if you are interested in supporting this channel you can buy my pro tutorials with huge discount you will find a link to that as well in the description section below and if you would like to share your work or if you need your and if you need any advice or if you have any question you can always leave that in the comment section or you can join my facebook group which is called the lens of you there is a link in the description of that as well so thank you so much bye bye see you in the next episode Do you feel that your landscape images does not look that professional? Do you feel that your landscape images look very dull and boring? Do you want to give your images that stunning look? Do you want to give your landscape images that professional look? Do you want to take your landscape images to a whole new level? If answer to any of these questions is yes, then let me tell you, you are at the right place. In this course, I'll walk you through my step-by-step -step process of retouching the landscape images in Adobe Photoshop. You will see that this technique is amazingly simple and it gives the landscape images a whole new life. And I'm sure after completion of this course, your landscape images will stand out from the crowd. And if you follow all these techniques, which I will show you in this course, your landscape images would never look the same again. They would never be dull and boring. They would look more professional with rich colors, tone and contrast. Let me give you one more reason to enroll in this course. That with this course, you'll get the premium exercise files which have been used in this course. And I'll keep on adding new lectures to this course in the future as well so that you can download those exercise files and can follow along so that you can accelerate your learning. And let me tell you one another benefit of joining this course. With this course, you will get the expert support. So that means during or after the course, if you are stuck anywhere and if you have any questions or queries, then I would be there to answer your questions, your queries, and any of your doubt though I have explained each and everything keeping the beginners in mind and here is another reason this course also comes with a 30 days full money back guarantee that means for the first 30 days of this course somehow you don't like this course you can ask your 100% money back with no questions asked guaranteed so that means you have a zero risk trying this course so what you are waiting for go ahead and enroll in this course and i will see you inside this course